Georgia. Hey Kotaku, we're still here at PAX East 2015, taking a look at We Happy Few, the next game from Compulsion, the developers behind Contrast, which is a get platforming game that came out for the PS4 a little while ago, and you guys went multi-platform, right? That's right, we came out on six platform, well, soon to be six platform with the Shield uh, console launch. This is Guillaume Provost, who's the head of Compulsion, and he's going to tell us about the game where you're playing in an environment where nobody wants to admit anything bad ever happens. You take a lot of drugs, there's a lot of denial, and you're supposed to just kind of look like everything's always awesome, which it's not. So let's talk to me about the game, about the environment of Wellington Wells. Absolutely. So it's a it's a very special city. It's set in the '60s. We uh, we were really inspired by the the fashion and the rules uh, of of the '60s, the Beatles haircuts and the mode fashion. Um, and it's a city that is desperately trying to forget their past. So they're all using chemicals, this uh, called joy, uh, this drug called joy, uh, to chemically make everyone happy. And uh, you, as a player, are the only lucid person in that environment. So it's a little bit Brave New World, 1984 meets Clockwork Orange, where uh, you're trying to hide in plain sight. So a lot of the game has to do about conformity. It, it really drives a little bit of a sense of paranoia in the player, where you have to fit in by uh, appearing to be happy and doing what everybody else is doing, otherwise you'll get into trouble. Right. So, you know, it, in playing through a little bit, there, it looks like there's a little bit of stealth, but it also looks like the game design is forcing players to break the rules of the city just to survive. Like, you don't have any food, you've got to break into people's homes. You break into people's homes, something's weird, and they start chasing you. You start being chased, you fight back, and then more and more attention is put, being, being paid on you made to make you feel like a freak. Like, where did that stuff come from in the game design? Well, I mean, again, like, we really wanted to, we were really curious about that specific uh, idea of uh, conformity and figuring out how to create that sentiment in the player that, yeah, I really have to be paying attention to all the usual things that I do in video games, like running or sprinting or crouching, because the people around me will start noticing every single piece of behavior that we're doing. Uh, so it's a bit of a social experiment. It's something that we talked about as being, and again, I think that the themes for Brave, Brave New World and uh, elements of a, a society that's really uh, all about uh, social conformity right. was, was something that was interesting that I thought we hadn't really been tackled properly in games so far. All right, so let's take a look at the game in action. All right. Well, welcome to We Happy To You. So you're waking up uh, right now in a 1960s dystopian society based in England. So this is Uncle Jack. It's real-time footage that we filmed for the for the game. So we actually shot. Uh, we went out. And we shot uh, eight hours of film footage with this guy. He's got uh, multiple shows uh, that scan throughout the game on a broadcast schedule. So if, if you'd actually opened up the TV early, you would have caught the the opening of the show. Uh, and he, he he comes out at regular intervals. So he has multiple shows. This is the morning wakey wakey show. Uh, he's got multiple shows that happen during the day. <clears throat> he's pervasive through the entire city, so you'll hear him through uh, loudspeakers, televisions, and radios throughout the world. So one of the, the big things we wanted to kind of push uh, through this game is uh, the idea of uh, hiding in plain sight and uh, uh, conformity and paranoia. <laughs> so uh, you, the, the people in uh, uh, the world that we have, if you are all chemmed up on drugs, to, to keep themselves happy because they're trying to forget a horrible past. Uh, and uh, they're not zombies, so they don't actually attack you on sight. Uh, but they do expect you to behave in certain ways. And if you don't behave in that, those ways, you'll stand out. Uh, and as soon as you start standing out, it spreads really, really quickly. Uh, so there's a certain element of paranoia that builds into the player. So you can see Uncle Jack's you know, pervasive across the entire world. Um, one of um, the things that we didn't announce before um, uh, PAX is that the, the city is actually procedurally generated. So all the streets are laid out procedurally in the world. Uh, and it, it's, we're trying to recreate like a roguelike experience where uh, it's a little bit like uh, Bioshock meets uh, Don't Starve, right? We're trying to make that, that interesting experience where uh, you're probably going to die really quickly right now um, because you're doing something that you shouldn't be doing. Uh, and over time and over replays, you start learning the rules of what you can and can't do in the game. Whoa! That's right. So you can take a, you can take a Q or one to take your weapon out if you want. 
But I warn you, if you do that, you're, you're going to be a little bit conspicuous down on the street. Can I just go away from me? Can I run? Ah! Yeah. <laughs> so that's the general sense. You better, I think you'd... It's like I would, a horrible I, value of the dolls. Like. <laughs> I think you'd better run right now. So one thing you can do right now, you're, you're in trouble. So go to, a, go to a telephone booth. Go to one of the telephone booths. Do you see a telephone booth down there? Run to the telephone booth. Hurry, 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 hurry. And go into the telephone booth. Go into the telephone booth. There we go. So what you can do when you're in real trouble is you can go out and you can take Joy, which is the blissful drug that makes everyone happy in the game. And what that does is it'll calm everyone down because now you've become one of them. So now you'll see the world. You'll still want to walk away because they're still kind of angry. Can you walk away? Are you stuck? There we go. See, so the, the sky is blue, everything's shiny, and people will stop. Well, I think you died because you were bleeding here. Um, so the idea is you can take drugs, the Joy pill, and join the throng in order to alleviate and lower suspicion. Right. Uh, so it's a short-term game for a long-term loss because after a while you'll crash from the drugs. Oh, wow. And crashing from the drugs will really you know, push down your thirst and hunger and all your other needs. So you won't be able to sustain yourself if you're consist consistently on the drug. There's a crafting table, so there's a number of crafting elements in the game. Uh, you can see the different sections that are over here. So you know, you've got like the basic mechanical and the chemicals. Uh, you know, chemicals and drugs being a big component, but even on the, the, the uh, and everything is kind of tainted with that happy, creepy vibe, whether it's the things that you craft or uh, the way people react in the world. Uh, we really wanted to kind of create that ecosystem, so that 1960s kind of mod style uh, uh, design to the visuals. So we talked about drugs. One of the other elements that we hadn't really talked about is how do you make a survival in the city, right? People eat and they drink, food should be plentiful. Well, water is also laced with the drug in the city. So it's really a question of like, you know, the, the push for you to become part of the the us syndrome is very high in the world. Yeah, the the, the screen text, uh, pre, uh, pre, the screen text pretty much says that, right? Like, it does not conform to the standards of the Wellington Wells means that there's no drugs in this water, right? That's right. That's exactly uh, that's that's the whole principle is that. Uh, uh, the whole game is about conformity and about you trying to live on the margins of it without letting anyone know. So, right. yeah. And that's the player character model there? That's the player character uh, right there. Um, uh, you know, it's an early rendition of him, but uh, that's the general, that's the character that you play. All the televisions in the world are all broadcasting. Uh, you can see, you're probably hearing the, the PA system. So, he, Uncle Jack's coming out of like PA systems, radio stations, and all the televisions in the world. The televisions also look, the televisions also look at you when you get close to them, which adds to that like kind of creepy, uh, creepy Deal to it. Okay, time to be happy. So we really like that that kind of uh, feeling that we we could actually recreate the real a real addiction in, in the game with all the, the benefits and caveats. So if you take drugs in our game, then people will be your friend. But you know the problem is um, you need more drugs. You're gonna need more drugs, otherwise you crash. And if you take too much drugs, you can overdose in the game too. And then where will you be when time is when time like a frog like a frog hill? Well driving will be driving on the ground, won't you? Yeah, we'll have to work on the art a little bit, but there's a number of buildings that the uh, citizens have repainted. So they're, they're, they're disbarred, but they've repainted it with little signs that says they're out for five minutes because we're really in a society where oh, you're crashing right now. So you can see how you're crashing. All your needs are actually going down right now. So this is the price that you're paying for the, the moment of quiet that you've had. So where nobody's going to bug you, no one's going to be suspicious about you because you're happy, but now you're dehydrated. And now that's going to force you into people's homes to get food and water, which is again going to force you into a cyclical loop of like confronting citizens and doing things that you shouldn't be doing. That's the basis of the game, right, um, at, at its central core. You can search the, you can search the garbage cans too. You'll find, uh, you'll find nice, nice empty syringes if you're lucky. So again, right now you're, you're, you're really thirsty, you're hungry. Let's see if you have anything in your inventory. Um, you take some alcohol. You just double click it. You double double tap the, the yeah. Leave it in and then double tap. Double tap. There we go. So again, that that help you uh, uh, quench your thirst a little bit, but now you're hungrier. So why don't we try getting into one of the homes too? So if you go up to that window right there, you can just press the space bar to just go into it. That's very similar to the scene in the trailer. But you can see, even just jumping has alerted him that you're a little bit weird right now. Do you think so let's clobber this guy down. 
Right, right here that uh, as soon as there's combat it's attracting other people around you so maybe it'd be a good idea for you to run away at this point you're not doing that there we go right out now you're running around with a baseball bat but you can sprint with shift and notice how when you sprint with shift immediately people around you start noticing what you're doing this is really a society that's going to pay attention to you can also crouch uh, with C uh, Crouching with C is going to like make you stealthy on an audio level, but it's going to make you really weird on the street. People really react to what you're doing in terms of how it looks to their eyes, right? So you can take some drugs, but that's not going to help your health much this day. I just want to get them off. Yep. So that's a uh, quick look at We Happy Few coming from Compulsion Games. What platforms are you guys aiming for? Uh, right now, we're just uh, uh, really concentrated on the early stages of the game. Our mission at uh, PAX was to come to PAX, show the game to a whole bunch of individuals. Uh, so we're you know, really concentrating on the PC platform for the moment. That being said, like you said, uh, Contrast came out on a number of platforms, and we just haven't really even started those discussions awesome. yet. Awesome. All right, so basically look for it soon. That's right. We, uh, we, are, we are looking to make a Kickstarter campaign in eight to 10 weeks with the express purpose to gather like an initial set of people uh, in a community around the game to help us you know, really uh, narrow down the mechanics while we work on the story in the background. Awesome. All right, thank you very much, Guillaume. Thank you, right, thank you for your time.